Hello traders, Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. It is Monday, first day of the week here in Honolulu, Hawaii. It is the 23rd of August and this is the daily report. Both Forex and Comex Gold are trading quietly under very uh, little bit of pressure, trading about a dollar lower, 1229.20 in the uh, Comex Gold over here and in the Forex Gold at 1226.62. Interesting thing, we did get completion, of course, of this Three River star that we were looking at the other day. However, we are seeing the market trade lower, but we're not really getting the kind of follow through that I had really hoped that we would get. We're creating another series of dojis, uh, meaning that the open and close is very, very close, both in the Forex here as well as in the COMEX here. And what that is telling me is that fundamentally, at least, there's a, there's a lack of any kind of news one way or the other to really fuel the market. There's no bullish fundamental news, in other words, news to entice buyers. And so investors' risk appetite investment dollars are kind of drying up with the lack of that news. Of course, we did enter a short position in the market, 1228, 1227, right in that area in the Forex. Uh, Comex would have gotten in about a dollar to two dollars higher here also. And our stops are still at 1240, protective stop on our short in the Forex, and 1243 in the Comex. Traders, as we have a quiet session here in the market, I am noticing a couple of things. The, the first thing that I kind of want to point out is that this support line, this Fibonacci retracement level here, the 78% and the 61% are drawn off of a retracement of, this is our basic A wave here as it came down, and these are the retracement levels up. It does seem as though Right now, at least, there could be some potential support right here at the 61% area. And, of course, there is good resistance right now between 1237 and 1240. The other level that I want to look at, and this is this new Fibonacci retracement that I've added, and this is based off of just our wave B. Now, typically in a correction... If we have a standard correction, we will get between 100% retracement, meaning you will get the market moving back to the bottom of A, and it can be as wide or as deep in terms of amplitude as 2.61 times that of A. So that there could be, if it was a very strong correction, a, a very, very strong move to the downside, my personal belief. As you know, fundamentally, I'm extremely bullish. I'm looking for this to be actually what I'll call almost a painless correction and do not expect really this market to correct a lot. Now, I could be absolutely wrong and off the mark. A, we might not even be witnessing the type of corrections that we have seen in the past, or B, we might in fact see a standard correction where the market does take us back to the 1160 area, 1150 area, and attempt to go back to these lows. We will have to see. The first thing is we're certainly not out of the woods yet because although I do feel comfortable that we are in a potential correction wave, meaning that we have started our C wave, as you can see, I've not drawn in our C wave yet. I need to see a couple of more days and see follow through before I can actually label this a correction and a C wave, because right now we could be witnessing something similar to a, just a breathing area or a consolidation area, such as we saw right in here, and then the market takes off again flying. So rather than seeing the market correct, we would see it find a form of base and then move back up and break above that. Anything is possible in these markets. What I can tell you, is that based on Elliott Wave, we are destined, I should say, it's highly probable that we will see a correction. It is Monday, so I think that uh, we're looking at the COMEX gold chart right now. You can see the prices basically closed unchanged uh, today. It was quiet trading. 
there is kind of a wait and see attitude as, as traders right now are looking to see what kind of fresh fundamental economic data is going to come out this week and then go ahead and digest it. The U.S. dollar was trading slightly higher today. That's a little bit on the bearish side for gold. We had weaker crude oil prices, but we did get uh, U.S. stock indexes. Those were firmer and treasuries were weaker. Now, this does suggest, and this is according to Jim Wyckoff over at Kitco News, investor risk appetite has upticked slightly to start a new trading week. There's also a negative for the gold market, however, the overall near term and longer term technical posture for gold remains in favor of the bulls. And when we look at a weekly chart, I will show you that, that there, there's still technically some very, very strong overtones. Now, one of the things that we do also want to realize fundamentally is that the festival season starts in India. And gold is a favorite item to give for gifts during the, fest the festival. Um, that should have some impact on demand for physical gold. U.S. economic data due out later this week progresses, including existing home sales on Tuesday, durable goods orders on Wednesday, weekly jobless claims on Thursday, and the GDP report on Friday. But I want to leave you with one quick technical study before we go, and I wish you a good trading day, and that is the Andrews Pitchfork. Now, if I do an Andrews Pitchfork, and I'm going to base it off of this low here, and then going to take it to this high here, and then my third point is going to be this low here, I want you to see something interesting, and that is we are sitting right on top of that 50% level, and as you can see, as it came down and hit support here and came up, this is that 50% level that it seems to want to track around in terms of price structure. And if we go ahead and extend that so that we have in terms of a time sequence, we can be looking to see when we feel that the market has potential to hit $1,300 just based on this one simple study of the Andrews pitchfork and the fact that the market will tend to trade and move towards this 50% level. You can see that by extending it, we, and we have stayed right in that area, our, we do now have a target for 1300 And that target, if we follow it through, takes us right to the beginning of 2011 just something worth noting. I found it interesting when doing some studies over the weekend. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.